Hey guys, what's up? You would not believe it. We're in West Oz. We are now in lockdown. Uh, this sucks for me because I can't go riding, but good news for you because I finally got around to doing that in-depth review on the Axis Black Series. So join me guys. We're going that way to the foil den. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the foil den. Before you come in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Hey foilers, what's up? It is so good to be back with you with another video and this time we're talking about the new Axis Black Series. We're going in depth with some of the new wings I've been riding and we're gonna also talk about where these new Black Series wings fit in with the current Axis lineup. Later on in the video, we're gonna to touch briefly on fuselages, tail wings and also the new carbon masts. So guys, it wasn't so long ago that we were all learning to foil and most of the foil brands only had one, maybe two sizes in their foil range and that was good back then, but it didn't take us long to start wanting more. We were asking for those faster wings. We wanted wings that turned better. We wanted to be able to go downwind on them. We basically wanted more. And fast forward to today, and we are so spoiled for choice. All the brands have stepped it up big time, and there is just so many wings on the market now to choose from. Um, for me personally, I've been riding the Axis gear for a couple of years now, and it's been so good to be part of the Axis family and watch them develop their products, um, basically in the quest to solve everybody's hunger for wanting that ultimate four wing. So today, Axis have over 20 front wings to choose from, which is pretty wild, and I know it's hard to get your head around. But the good news is, guys, you don't need all of those wings, but you definitely need some of them, and that's the purpose of today's video. We're gonna try and grind out what it is that works best for you from the Axis lineup. Okay, so before we get into the new Black Series gear, guys, we're gonna just throw it back a little bit to a couple of years ago where it all began for me, and that was on the original Axis Surf Series wings. And I started off on the 920 and the 750. I don't have those wings anymore. I wish I did, because the 920 was one of my all-time favorites. But I've got this guy, and it's the 102 Beast, and I'm gonna tell you why it's still in my quiver. All right, guys, are you ready for liftoff? We have the biggest beast available. This is the Axis 102 or the 1020. This thing is an absolute giant. Listen to these numbers. It has an actual area of 2,051 square centimetres, a giant wingspan of 102. I've had this wing for ages, a couple of years now. It is my go-to still when I want to muck around in the flat water and do some dock starts. Sometimes we'll muck around on the wake foil with it. Um, it goes great on boat weights. It pumps forever. This is also a really good wing to teach your friends how to wing foil. It's nice and slow. It's super steady, really stable. It pumps so easily. It basically pumps itself. So this guy will be in my quiver forever. All right, this one, guys, is from the pump and glide range. And it's the only wing I have from that range. And this is the 910 high aspect wing. This is a pretty sick all-rounder. I learned to wing foil on this one. It's really stable. It's got tons of glide. You can downwind on it. So if you were the type of person to maybe only have one wing in your range, it might be this one, something from the pump and glide range. So this comes in a few bigger sizes as well. I think it comes in a 101 and a 115 for the bigger boys. But for me, the 910, I'll hang on to this one. It's sick. Okay, the next sub range from Axis is a surf performance range. And you might have seen I did a few reviews on the 760, which is this one, and the 860 not so long ago. It also comes in a 660 size as well. Uh, these are the Prone Riders Dream Wings still. I still use this guy prone from time to time. The gull wing shape gives it such good rail to rail maneuverability. Um, and this one still pumps really good as well. So if you're the type of guy that just loves prone riding, then you've probably already seen these. This is the funnest wing to be on, I reckon. Before I get into the Black Series, there is also the original Carve Series, which was the 900 and the 1000 axis wings. And some people are still getting around on those. They're really good for downwind, um, also for wing foiling and sub foiling and things like that. I got rid of my 900, I'm not riding that anymore. I upgraded to the 910 that we just looked at from the Pump and Glide series. Okay, so before we dive deep into these epic new Black Series wings, um, just remember that all of this information sort of relates to me and my personal experiences. I am a lightweight rider, I'm 62 kilos, which is I think about 135 pounds. So hopefully we can convert some of this information to you um, and help you find what the right setup is for you. So if I miss anything or if you have any questions here guys, leave a comment below or shoot me a message and I'll try and get back to you and help you answer it. So now guys, it's time to look at those Black Series wings. Okay, so within the Black Series, we have the HPS Series, which is the high performance speed. And if you can't work it out from the name, then I shouldn't be explaining it to you anyway. 
these things were built to go fast. So this one here is the 980, super high aspect, narrow all the way to the tips. This is one of the fastest wings you'll go on. In fact, I've set my fastest speed record on foil on this, which I'm not a speedster. I don't try and go fast, but it's pretty easy to go fast on this one. Um, so yep, wing foiling, downwinding especially. Guys that race and are super competitive and just want to go fast, it's so easy to go fast on. You have so much fun. It glides forever. Um, and wing foiling in your transitions and things like that, these wings come in real handy because they just glide for ages. So that's the 980 HPS. He's got a little baby brother that I'm absolutely in love with. Let's have a look. Okay, no, this is not a tail wing. This is the newest HPS 700 front wing from Axis. And this right now is my favorite wing. I'm totally addicted to this one. In fact, if I'm being honest, the first time I tried it was in flat water um, on the wing foil. The wind was not quite up to full strength for me. And I didn't love it to be honest, but I gave it another shot. I took it out one day when the waves were a little bit bigger and the wind was stronger. And this is now by far my favorite wing foil wing. It is so light, it is tiny. These HPS wings are just so fast. So if you're the kind of rider that likes to go super fast all the time, definitely a choice for you. Um, this would also make a really good tow foil wing for guys that are chasing those bigger lumps, towing in with a jet ski and things like that because the top end is almost infinite on this thing. I've, I've had this thing down some pretty solid waves. It's so fast, it goes wherever you point it. And at speed, it just gives you so much confidence to just go faster and drop into absolutely anything. So that's the 700, it's only 890 square centimeters. Um, it's an absolute missile. I'm gonna be riding this all the time now on my wing foil. Um, it's an absolute dream. Okay, next in the Black Series range, we have the BSC wings, which is the broad spectrum carve. So these are a bit of an all-rounder series of wings now that fit the new Black Series fuse. And while I mention that, I'm just gonna explain why the Black Series has a new fuse. Um, I did touch on it briefly in my last video, but people wanted fast wings and that really is what the Black Series is all about. So the profile of these is much thinner than any of the previous wings from Axis. So they needed to redesign the fuselage. Um, so the Black Series comes with its own black fuse. It slots in here um, and it's allowed us to have these really thin, strong, fast wings. Okay, so I love this 890 wing for prone foiling. It pumps really well. It's very gentle dropping into waves. It doesn't give you that really sudden lift that bucks you off. So it's really manageable and it's really forgiving in the waves as well. So that's what I like about these. The first thing you'll notice is how smooth they are and how easy they are to ride. Um, massive range on them, great bottom end, but also really good top end. You can easily downwind these wings as well. So the 890 is great, really fun prone wing. Um, that'll be good for the guys that are a little bit bigger. Um, and this also comes in some bigger sizes as well. Um, no use for me, I'm such a lightweight. But I love the 890, super fun wing. And he has a smaller brother, which is now my favorite prone wing, which is the 810. So the 810 is 1,070 square centimeters. Um, Nice and flat profile, super thin, really fast, nice and loose in the surf. I match this one up now with the flat 460 rear wing um, and it's such a loose setup in the waves. You don't have to be too worried about breaching a wing tip through your turns because you can recover pretty easily. Um, plenty of glide on it, super fast. If there was any downside to this, it's maybe that it's sometimes too fast in the surf. So depending on the type of waves I ride, I might go back to the old um, performance air series wing like the 760 or the 860 um, but depending on the waves you know if we've got long rolling waves with lots of really big connections and I need to be able to pump super far I'll take the 810 so I've been exclusively prone riding this one now for quite a few weeks and I absolutely love this okay guys so to summarize the new black series both the HPS and BSC series they're super quick wings so if you're the kind of foiler that's looking for that extra speed definitely worth considering if you're happy with what you're already riding, then maybe you can hold off for a little while, but there's heaps of wings in the new Black Series range. I'm actually still running some of the old stuff myself, um, so depending on the conditions on any given day, I've got something. And I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be something out there for you guys too. Okay, let's talk about rear stabilizers or tail wings and get a few questions about this. And again, it always comes down to personal preference, so I suggest to try as many as you can. So you'll probably start off with something like this from the Axis range, which is the 440, and I've had this one for a couple of years. It was one of my first ever tail wings. As you can see, it's got a nice deep cord. 
um, and wing tips. So this all gives stabilization on this. So it's a nice stable rear wing, perfect for teaching your friends or for learning or my kids use this one as well. Super safe, just an everyday cruiser, pumps pretty well. Um, not the loosest, but it's nice and stable. So that's the 440. And another nice stable wing here is the 390 GAP wing, which has the downturn wing tips. I find this one to be nice and stable. Um, really nice wing for learning to wing foil, I found it. Uh, bites in nice, uh, doesn't breach too easy with those downturn wing tips. Another great one if you're lending gear to friends or teaching your friends how to foil. It's nice and safe, super stable. Um, I love that one as well. That's the 390 Gap. Okay, this is my OG first ever rear wing from Axis, the 400. Um, it's looking a bit beat up, but I still use it. So this has the wing tips removed. I took this one to the chop shop, got the hacksaw out and cut off his tips. Um, really rough on the edges, this one, um, but it works. It's got the big deep cord. Um, it pumps amazing. And since chopping it up, it's loosened it up heaps. So yeah, just a fun wing to have in the bag. Um, sometimes if I'm wake foiling because it's not the fastest, but it's got heaps of lift and it's really loose. Um, really fun for wake foiling, dock starting and things like that. So, yep, keep that one in my bag for sure. Hey guys, did you hear about my sick new foil board travel bags? Did somebody say wing board travel bags? We got your wing boards covered too. Okay, these are my two rear wings that I use all the time now. This one here is the 460, which I've trimmed down to 410. And this is the 420. So, let's have a chat about the 460 really quick. Uh, flat, thin, narrow cord, really, really fast. This was designed for the downwind guys, uh, high speed foilers, uh, wing foilers that wanted to go super fast. Um, best thing about this is it's solid carbon. So you can trim this one down. Um, mine's now 410. I chopped a little bit off either end. Um, I found that the large span was a bit too much for me, but this is really loose. It pumps amazing. It's lightning fast. This is my go-to for prone foiling all day, every day. And the new 420 rear wing is really similar to my 460, but it has really aggressive little winglets on it, which help bite in. Um, I use this one for wing foiling. I find those winglets help go up wind a bit better. They hold you in. It's not so squirrely on the back end at high speed on the wing foil. So winging, this is my rear wing of choice. It also works really good for prone as well, but I find the flat 460 pumps a little bit better. So this one for wing foiling for me all day. Okay, so briefly now we're gonna chat about fuselages and the different lengths. Now, again, this really comes down to personal preference. So try a few if you can before you commit. Um, a lot of people ask, what's the easiest to pump with? Do you go shorter or longer? For me, I find that one isn't easier than the other. They're just different and it really depends on the pump style that you prefer. But as a general rule, a longer fuselage will be more stable. Um, and I think they allow a longer, deeper, slower pump rate. Whereas the shorter fuses are a bit more twitchy and sensitive and they love a faster, shallower pump rate. Um, so for me, when I'm prone riding, I'll use a shorter fuse. So in the red series, I have this one here, which is the crazy short fuselage. 585 millimeters long. Um, I use this for my prone foiling when I'm on the 760 wing or something like that. Um, really awesome. Now, my kids, when they come foiling and my family, I'll give them something a little longer. So this is the ultra short at 625 um, and my little ones use the short fuse, which is 680. So a little bit longer, just a bit more stable for them, a little less twitchy and you know a little bit more predictable. So in the black series, for wing foiling. I'm using the short fuse here, which is 699 millimeters. I find that's perfect for me for wing foiling. If I go any shorter, it starts to get a little bit too sensitive and a little bit too much of a wild ride. So that's my short fuse for the wing. And then when I'm proning, I'm using the ultra short here, which is 644 millimeters. That for me feels absolutely perfect for my prone foiling on the black series when I'm on the 810, I love it. So these black fuselages obviously only fit the new black series wings, but apart from that, there's not a lot of difference to the old red style fuse. They weigh the same, um, they're very similar in shape as well. All right, time to talk about masks guys, and there's a few to choose from. We all start off on the aluminum masks from Axis, and this is the 68 centimeter one, which is quite short. I use this one for the family staff, the kids ride this, people learning for the first time. I've also got an even shorter one, which is 60 centimeters, and they're really cool when the sandbars are super shallow or the reefs are a bit 
dicey. So this one's 68, it's the 16 millimetre mask, so it's the thinner of the Axis aluminium mask range. Um, the standard is 19 millimetres. If you are a lightweight like me, you might be able to get away with riding the 16 millimetre mast. So that's the family special, that one. Then we've got the 75 centimetre version, which is your standard prone foiling size these days. Uh, the 75 is pretty awesome, uh, especially in the 16 mil variation. Um, we've had heaps of good days on this thing. And then we upgrade to the wing foil mast. So this is the 90 centimetre aluminium mast from Axis. Really good for wing foiling. Gives you that little bit more clearance uh, in the heavy chop. Stops you from breaching a little bit more. It gives you a lot more confidence when you're wing foiling. So the 90 centimetre is a total game changer if you're riding wing foil. You have to have the longer mast. Okay, now we're going to have a quick look at the new carbon masts from Axis. The long awaited carbon masts. First thing you notice, these things are way lighter. So when I compare these to my old 16 mil aluminium masts, I think they're about 17% lighter. So if you're riding the 19 millimeter masts, you're gonna save even more weight here. Um, the carbon supposedly gives a bit more of a snappier feel than the aluminium. The aluminium is super stiff. This has a little bit of reflex, so I love these for prone foiling. This is the 76 centimeter carbon mast. One thing I really love about these, it's all one piece molded in with the base plate. So there's less screws to worry about there, uh, less things to come loose. Shorter screws up in the top section of the mast here. So it's a little bit faster to put your gear together. That's always a win. And then for wing foiling, I've got the 86 centimeter carbon mast and I've been absolutely loving this. Another great feature of the carbon mast is that they're tapered in design. So they get thinner down here. Um, axis call it cord progression. So they're a little bit faster through the water column down this bottom end. So as you're foiling, you can find that sweet spot down here and they just absolutely fly through the water. So the carbon masks are amazing. Are they essential or maybe more of a luxury item? If you've got the rest of your gear totally dialed and you really want to treat yourself, definitely look at getting yourself a carbon mast. They are insane. Okay guys, so I hope you found this new video on the Axis Black series to be informative. Um, hope it helped you get your head around some of the new gear and the full axis range. It's totally growing by the day, which is good news for us foilers. So if I missed anything, guys, shoot me a message, leave me a comment, and I look forward to catching you guys next time. Catch ya. That was good, eh? Yeah. All right, we're gonna... Full mind blank. You know, I don't ever think we're the most we are the you know, I can... And later on in the video... No, we're not. Oh, okay, I can't. That was it, eh? Yeah. Uh, is that good? It's way better, eh? No, you know, I've got... Oh, I'm gonna do all this fine. This is my oil from your well more. Now it's just tails and masks. Did we nail all of that? No. Maybe I do it with a wing in my hand. Oh, f that was close. Um, no, I'm pretty happy with that.